Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Just like Warren Buffett says, he said the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll earn. And never depend on single income. Make investment to create a second source. So if you have a job currently, if you are buying and selling commodities, buying and selling cars, products, beautiful products, USANA products, vitamins, make an investment to create a second source. So I want to say hi to all the BDO uh, securities, BDO Nomura previously users, G, Aurelio, uh, Cuisin, Jan Jan, Macareg, Rasana Malit, Spim, Eko, Benz Hazim, Rachel Gonzalez Mendoza, Leo Ancheta, Angelo Lumor, Mars Renz, Marian Benito, Edsel Garcia, John D. Apolonio, Tumamao Angel, Dolin, CJ Rico, Alden Mashas Gargar, Wellin Aura Yunabia, Coraline Pableo Iwafuchi, Francisco Raimundo, Kevin Abelia, Sheila Bonus, Arma Ricci, or Archie, Gail, Balmedina, Mong, Somato, Muelcre, Tess Orbeta Navales, Josephine Torres Magisa, Harold, Edmervin, MJ, John Vincent, Roniel, Aileen, Lynette Valenzuela. And guys, welcome to Investors and Traders YouTube channel. So this post was actually posted on August 25, 2020 in COL Financial Long-Term Stock Investing Group. So I uh, made an assumption about their prices. PLDT was at 1,448 before. And Globe was at 2,110. And Dito was only at three dollars or three pesos and thirty five cents. So that was the previous prices way back on August twenty five. So currently, it's different because it's it's more than eight pesos now. It's more than eight pesos now. So December twenty one, twenty twenty. So next year, it will be there. First technical audit. As you can see on this post in newsinfo.inquire.net, House OK's bill granting 25 year franchise to third telco player Dito. So, ayan nga no. Ganon din no. It's like what Rappler says House approves 25 year franchise for Dito Telecom. So recently, um, uh, there's a there's a Senate meeting about Dito. It needs to prove himself first before renewing its franchise. Well, obviously that's correct. Dito Telco should should give its promise first to the public, to the community. So here's the recent price earlier, December 21 at 10.12 in the morning. It reached 8.29. Now before it reached also more than 8 pesos way back on 2019 when it's, uh, when it's still ISM. So now the reason why it's going up currently it's because of its news. So basically on uh, January 2021 it will have its uh, its technical audit and then by March 2021 it will start servicing the Philippines so let's have the company description so Dito Telco is not listed in uh, the stock market but it's under Dito CME Holdings Corporation. 
So this one is the ISM Communications Corporation. It was originally a mining company. So before it was a mining company before it became an ISM which was the third telco previously. So as ISM, the company was engaged in information technology, multimedia, telecommunications, and other similar industries. And then on December 10, 2019, the board of DITO approved the acquisition of Udena Communications Media and Entertainment Holdings Corporation. So basically, uh, let's go back to the previous page or sentence. Dito currently has no operating business. So basically, it has no operating business since it's a holding, holding company. The company is doing a business as a holding company as it was since 2016. So this page is available in PSE, PSE Edge. Let's have the nature and business. So Udena Communications, Udena is under Dito CME. Udena Communications, UCME, is a domestic holding company that is 100% owned by Udena Corporation. It jointly owns Dito Holdings Corporation together with Chelsea Logistics and Infrastructure Holdings Corporation at 89%. UCME owns interest in Dito Telco, Dito Tel, so that's UCME, which is Udena Communications Media and Entertainment. Now question, how is Dito Tel related to Dito CME, which is listed in the stock market? So basically, it's because of UCME or Udena Communications Media and Entertainment. So by Udena Communications Media and Entertainment, which is under Dito CME, Dito CME will have an indirect profit in Dito Tel. So Dito Tel, formerly, formerly known as Mindanao Islamic telecommunication company or Miss Latel. So this was the telecommunication company that was the winner of the government sanctioned bidding for the New Year major telecommunications player of the Philippines held in November 2018. So Dito Tel is, expect, is expected to launch in March 2021. So we only have like three months left. Udena Group. So you can visit the website udena.ph. You go to news and Dito CME. So this one is approved. Dito Telco Chairman and CEO Dennis A. Uy summarized. They said, we want to deliver on the expectations of our shareholders and the investing public. Rest assured that we are working hard to execute on our plans as best as we can. Their principal and immediate um, mission is to ensure the commercial launch of Dito Telco by March next year. So that's three months from now. Oh, this will also be launched double dragon so d read let's wait for this wait for my next video it's about d read which is basically a good opportunity as well by february 2021 so again you Dito Telco will be under Udena, Udena, but Udena is under Dito CME. So if you want to invest in Dito Telco, well, you can't buy Dito Telco 
in the stock market by buying the total but you can invest in the total by buying Dito CME. But again, when will Dito Tell have its own stock? So basically, we don't have yet a news when. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.